So back to Queen P and Dave. What happened to them, you wonder? Summer ending and all that. Queen P. She was like, she was really, really in love with Dave. <laughs> she even told him this one day. He said, I love you. You're the one for me. I don't want to be with anyone else. I'll wait until I'm an old maid for us to be together. That's how much I, I, I want to be with you. It took her a lot to say this to Dave. Because she doesn't just fall in love with anyone. She knows this. Her parents know this. Anyone who knows her knows this. Dave just nodded. And he said his girlfriend would get jealous. But Dave never said how he felt for her. So Queen P obviously was like, I don't want to be a homewrecker. I had no idea he had a girlfriend. This whole time. He never mentioned it. She was very shocked. Didn't know what to do. Kind of freaked out inside. She had fallen for someone she couldn't even be with. <laughs> she thought to herself, well, I am committed to this. I'll wait around. There's no one else that I really want to be with anyway. I guess I'm just going to have to carry on. Carry on this way. Get right back to just putting my head in the work. But she had tons of. She had to run a, a castle. She didn't even know that Dave was actually interested in her, which I think is the tragic point, point of this relationship. Because I think, you know, if, some, if you're, it's like, if you're into someone, you have to tell them, right? I don't know. That's what I think. But um, but in this situation, Dave he never said, not once, did he ever say that he was interested in her. I just wanted to just clarify, put that out there. Dave never said anything. But he was actually at a serious crossroads of what to do. And he did feel that there was time pressing against him to make a decision, like, what do I say to P? So instead of making a choice, he decided to make no choice. He decided to walk away. So he walked away from Queen P that day. He told her to kindly not contact him and never contacted her. And he did this because it was you know, peace of mind to completely ease his mind from the whole complicated situation. There's the pressures of the giant peaches and him being the only grower of these peaches. His relationship with his girlfriend kind of falling apart anyway. His finances, finances glitching out because, you know, the giant peaches don't grow very quickly. So it's like... He's constantly trying to figure out ways to to make ends meet in other ways than just, you know, the, the actual giant peaches. So that was a lot. It was a lot of work. That was enough. That was enough already. Obviously, she was heartbroken. P, she's very heartbroken by this. She never saw him ever, you know, again after that uh, because she thought he didn't, she, she didn't want to bother. You know, he, she, he said, don't contact me. Um, she, she tried once, but then decided, um, you know, he got mad by it because he, he had told her not to contact him. Um, and so after that, he freaked out and she, she never saw him after that ever again. She, uh, she thought he didn't like her, um, you know, hated her even, um, she didn't understand what the heck had just happened. She didn't see any of this coming. Uh, she really thought that they'd like, you know, walk off into the sun set together 
and like have a family and like build a legacy together because that's what she wants you know that was her that's her wish um yeah she she imagined she'd offer him like 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 the courtyard and and more you know to like grow all of the giant peaches um, and help him grow them too and then have children and teach them how to grow giant peaches to build that legacy of giant peach tree growing and bring immense joy to the peoples of the lands because you know everyone wants more giant peaches gosh darn it she didn't want to hurt him so she um she never contacted him after that and she just kept her head and her work. She had a kingdom to run anyway. She was researching, you know, how to save this kingdom with whatever was available to her. She knew. So here we have So You Are Tired by Sufjan Stevens. <laughs> 